The following program is presented by DSPN Live. Hello, everybody. I'm Louis DiPaolo, and welcome to the UCF Coaches Show with head coach Anthony Mariani. Coach, welcome back. Good morning. You got to be pretty excited. I am. We're pumped. We got to win. It was a great weekend for UCF hockey. Played two really good games against USF. Let's start with Friday night. Close game, little slow start, but that momentum, I think, for the weekend started in the third period. It did. Um, you know, it was tough in, at USF. You know, we had a really slow start. We were down 4-1 going into the third period. You know, and I told the boys, listen, just slow it down. Play simple hockey. Let's go back out there. Let's try and get a goal on the board, and we'll build off of that. And, and they did, and turned out to be a 4-3 game going into the end of the third period. We pulled the goalie, had a flurry of great opportunities. Um, I don't think they got the puck out of their zone once. Um, we just couldn't capitalize on it. Their goalie was just uh, playing on his head for him and um, just unfortunately couldn't put one in, took the 4-3 loss. Um, so, you know, the message to the boys on Saturday was this is the fourth period of last game. Sure. Um, I think if we had three more minutes in that last game, I think we would have tied it up. Well, Matthew Richard played well for the Bulls, but conversely, so did Shield, again, no surprise in net, and he had two breakaways that he saved in the third period, and I think the momentum started to build from there. It did. He had four, a total of four breakaways in the game on him that just got past my defense, and he saved every single one of them, um, and you know we talked about that. That can't happen. You know, luckily, we have Shields back there to, you know, to defend those. You know, four breakaways in a game, just a guy all by himself is unacceptable, so um, little things like that, you know, he, again, he was playing great. The biggest thing is, is uh, you know, our, our penalties. They hurt us every time, and I think three of their four goals were power play goals. So. Yeah, it's been a key so far this season. But now you come up short Friday night, but you have that third period. You take that momentum. Thank you to RDV, an afternoon game, the frozen war on I-4, 4 o'clock, a sold-out building. The UCF girls lacrosse team was here. That was good. There was a, an amazing experience for UCF to have a sold-out building here to play that game. Sure, sure. You know, the boys build off of it. I build off of it. You know, the crowd gets them going. We got Ray down there on the mic. Um, you know, he gets everyone going. Um, and I think that's, you know, an advantage that we need to have and the four o'clock games are great for us you go into buildings like usf at wesley chapel and you go into daytona that that they just feed off the crowd sure the place has energy it's loud and you know and it's tough to play against those teams just because of the the atmosphere but you had to feel that atmosphere oh, you we came did. out on the ice we right did. um you know they, they took the first goal in the game usf but you know we build off of that and you know once once we scored the place lit up, and, you know, from there, it was just, you know, it was loud in here. And, uh, you know, feels good. The boys love it. Get them going. Well, let's go over that. Speaking of the first goal of the game, here's our first one right here. It's a USF power play. This was the five-minute major. And here's the one thing that we had talked about during the show. They're going to come in. They're going to skate all 200 feet. End-to-end, -end, you see three defensemen or three players for UCF. Nobody puts a stick on him. And he comes in, goes the entire distance, shield. Not much he can do on that play. No. Um, you know, the, the momentum that they had, the speed that they had, um, you could obviously see one of our guys went to step up on him and try to drive him wide outside. Um, but unfortunately, he made a really quick move right to the middle and put my guy out of position. And he just threaded the needle right through the slot and just lobbed it over shields. He's bad. Good play by USF. Not as good by UCF, but it's a learning experience. Sure. Sure. Now, speaking of learning, here's a great play that I talked about during the show. This is Tyler Avron. You're going to see him down the bottom of the screen in front of Shield. USF brings the puck. They rag it over to the center right up at the top. Now, you'll see Avron right here, Coach. Sure. 
how he uses his body just like a basketball defender to block his man out. And Shields was able to see that puck the entire way. That's what you're supposed to do as a defender, and that makes Shields' different uh, um, job much easier yeah. at that point. Sure. You know, we talk about our guys defending the slot better and, and helping our goalie out. Um, we actually have girls doing stats for us this season, and they're, they're tracking all our shots for us. And in between periods, they, they hand that to me, and I get to see where all their shots are coming from and where our shots are coming from. And first few games, every single one of their shots were just right in front of our goalie in the slot because we were just doing a really terrible job at boxing them out. Um, so the fact that our guys are picking up on that, we're starting to play our positions better, especially defensively, is, is going to help us out. Now, one thing you and I were just talking about at practice was loose pucks winning those battles. Here's an opportunity that UCF took advantage of. Puck over on the far boards. I believe that's Angelella. Yep. And then you're going to see Altieri come in. How, how about all those vowels, huh? All right. You see Altieri come in, he steals the puck right behind the net, comes out in front of Janal, first goal of the game, lit the crowd up. That's just a heart and hustle goal, nothing fancy about that. That was no system that made that work other than get the puck deep, do your job. Yeah, um, you know, it's funny that you say system. You know, I tell the boys just to play simple hockey. Um, you don't want to complicate a hockey game. Um, it's funny, I was listening to a press conference from Barry Trotz. And one of his biggest things he said is to just do not complicate the game. He said, keep it simple, play simple hockey, you'll be successful. That's always stuck with me. Um, and I tell the boys, too, you know, we get down low. We got to win the battles on the boards. We got to grind, especially in their zone. Those loose pucks have to be ours. We can't have three guys in the corner against, you know, one and that one guy comes out with the puck. You know, we need to win those battles. And, you know, he was aggressive on the puck. Um, he took it right to the net on a quick wraparound, and I don't think they were ready for it. And he buried one and, and, and tied the game up 1-1, lit this place up, and then, uh, you know, that was it. That's what we needed right there. Um, so he lit, he lit the place up, and then when it looked like everything was going to go USF's way, you see this play coming in here. The puck comes up the boards and out and gets over the defense, and they create an odd man rush. Sure. Beautiful play, a two-on-one here. They make the pass across the captain, Kenny Waitman, and Shields comes back, makes that save. Beautiful play. Now, Shields has come up so big so far this year, and he's played about 90% of the game so sure. far. That was a huge opportunity for USF, and he closed the door on him. It was. Um, you know, it was tough right there. Um, you know, we noticed a lot, too. UCF likes to fly a guy pretty high, and – um, they like to chip it off the glass and send it to them, and it's something I talk to my defense about that we got to keep an eye on that. You know, it's a it's a good play. They keep them up there, and it's it's worked pretty successful for them. You know, once they get that chip, that guy's high. You got your focus on that one guy, and you got the guy on the far side sneaking, and you got a two on one. Um, didn't really get a chance to watch the films or whatnot. Shields, he said he actually didn't get a piece of that puck, and he thinks the guy just fanned on the backhand. It rolled off the edge of his blade, so. We, we got lucky there. It was a lucky break, um, you know, but, I mean, regardless, Shields, he's been playing outstanding. Well, we talked about special teams during the season so far, and they're starting to come along, and then the opportunity comes late in the game, power play opportunity for UCF. You call timeout, and this was the result. Tied at one. There's a play down low, a loose puck. Again, obviously they win this battle. They throw the puck out in front, and here comes Weinstock into your picture right there, takes the shot, it's blocked, he gets right back up, and then buries the go-ahead goal. I was talking to him this morning, and he said he didn't even get to see the goal because there were so many people in front. But that's a beautiful hustle play. Sure, sure. I, it, honestly, I, there was uh, a mad scramble out front. Um, you know, I didn't even see it, too, until everyone just lit up in here and all their hands were up. I didn't even realize the puck was in. There was so many <laughs> so many kids in my line of view I couldn't even see. Um, you know, and that's our biggest thing, is too, is especially on a play like that, I can't stress enough to get bodies to the net, especially that guy coming through the slot. You know, guys got the puck down low. They need to look for that high guy trailing in, and they need to give it to him. You know, like Weinstock did, the first one was blocked, but he didn't give up on the play. He followed his shot, got a second opportunity, and he capitalized on it. Um, that put us up 
2-1 with a few minutes left in the hockey game. That was a great goal for UCF. You fed off the energy. You needed it at the sure. end to hold USF out of here. And now you got a big weekend coming up with the Gators. The high-flying Florida Gators come into UCF this weekend here, Friday night and Saturday night. They beat Embry-Riddle 7-2. They beat UT 8-7. And then they lost to UT 7-6. So they are scoring a lot of goals. They have some big, strong kids. What are you planning on for this weekend now? So that was the message to the boys this morning. You know, um, it, we just got to work hard. Our work ethic's got to be, you know, we, we have to top them um, the whole game. Um, I know a few of the kids that are on the team. Obviously, local boy uh, Park Amara is on the team. Um, we all know what he's capable of. Mm -hmm. he's, he's definitely one of their weapons. Um, so I know they've been scoring a lot of goals. Um, so they're going to be tough. They're going to be tough. Um, the boys are going to have to go out there with that same energy level and intensity that we played in the in the second and third period against USF. We just we can't back down. It's got to be start to finish, 60 minutes of hockey. Well, the Gators are putting up a lot of shots on goal. So the things you've been working on, and kudos to you and Shane O'Donnell, you've improved the team drastically in a month. And I think even today when we were talking – I asked you what the boys thought after the win, and you said that they were wondering how practice was going to be this morning. But you were right back at it. You worked on your skills, and it was a very inspiring practice. Sure. One of the boys, uh, Tuesdays is our, you know, obviously our, our skills development. You know, uh, we skate a lot Tuesdays. Um, and one of the boys made a comment and said, Coach, since we won on Saturday, we don't have to skate Tuesday, right? Um, sorry, but I'm not sorry. Um, we're skating. Um, so the boys did well this morning. They looked good. They had energy out there. Um, we did a lot of work with the pucks, a lot of stick handling, puck control. Um, I want the boys to be confident with the puck on their stick. So that's kind of one of our focuses today that we did. And then uh, at the end of practice, we work on, on, on battles. We had the football pads out there and, mm -hmm. um, you know, had the boys battling against the boards for pucks. And um, <laughs> boys had a good practice today. I was very, very uh, pleased with the outcome. Well, you've done a great job with Shane and Rick making sure that each week you're working on something, and I can see it game to game to game. I've watched every single game so far this year. So kudos to you and the staff and to the boys for working hard. you got a big weekend coming up. The Florida Gators right here, DSPN Live, Friday night, 9 o'clock, Saturday night, 9 o'clock. Pre-game is 845. Come down and see UCF play hockey. Hopefully you have another sold-out building here. It's a lot of fun. Yes, likewise. Um, you know, I know it's a little bit of a later game, but hopefully uh, the Knights are ready to go Gator hunting. Sorry, I know you're a Gators fan. But <laughs> this is the first time myself as a coach of UCF that I'm actually playing the Gators, and I'm excited about it. Uh, there's a lot of Gator fans out there, so um, be there. Come down. If you can't make it down in person, join us here on DSPN Live. For Coach Anthony Mariani, I'm Louis DiPaolo. Have a great week, everybody, and see you Friday night. The following program is presented by DSPN Live.